Pat Patterson, who was at the time the WWF North American Heavyweight Champion, became the first Intercontinental Champion on September 1st, 1979. He won the championship in Rio de Janeiro, and there's a couple different conflicting stories on exactly how he won the Intercontinental Championship. Some say that he unified the North American and the South American title, and others say he was just handed the title. The Intercontinental Championship has been a championship that has been as prestigious as the WWF Championship over the years at times. It has been a launching point for superstars making their way to the main event scene of the WWF or the WWE, whatever you want to call it. Many, many superstars went from the Intercontinental Championship to the WWE Championship, like Macho Man Randy Savage, Bret Hart, Chris Jericho, The Ultimate Warrior, and others. The Intercontinental Championship still today is considered one of the most prestigious championships in all of professional wrestling, And now, let's take a look at some of the greatest Intercontinental Champions of all time, voted on by you, the PW Unlimited fans. Some say that the WWF Intercontinental Championship, or WWE Intercontinental Championship, is one of the most prestigious titles in all of wrestling. Some may argue that it's not as prestigious as it once was, some will argue that it is now, but we asked you guys... Who do you think is the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time? And the voting was very interesting. Five guys ran away with the voting, and then everybody else really just got one or two votes here and there. So we're going to start, actually, we haven't done this before in our countdown videos, but we're going to start with a quick honorable mention. And the honorable mentions go to two-time Intercontinental Champion, Mr. Perfect. Four-time Intercontinental Champion, Chris Benoit. Four-time Intercontinental Champion, Jeff Hardy. And the final honorable mention goes to one-time Intercontinental Champion, the Honky Tonk Man. But the Honky Tonk Man does have the record of holding that championship for 454 consecutive days, more than anybody else. Number five. Number five goes to Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, we all know, is one of the greatest in-ring performers of all time, one of the greatest world champions of all time. And as a three-time Intercontinental Champion, having the Intercontinental Championship right after breaking off from Marty Jannetty was the greatest first step into making Shawn Michaels one of the greatest of all time. Shawn Michaels won his first Intercontinental Championship in November of 1992, defeating the British Bulldog on Saturday night's main event. Number four, Bret Hart. Bret Hart is is widely considered the greatest professional wrestler to ever come out of Canada and one of the greatest professional wrestlers of the 90s and probably one of the best WWF champions of all time. Bret Hart is a two-time Intercontinental Champion, and just like Shawn Michaels, when he broke off from his longtime tag team partner, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, this was a great stepping stone for Hart, as he won his first Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam 1991, defeating Mr. Perfect, and then only about a month or so later, became the 91 King of the Ring. Number three. Number three has to go to the Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, Randy Savage is only a one-time Intercontinental Champion, but when he held that championship, he really made that championship mean something. He had great feuds with the championship, especially, especially his infamous match with Ricky Steamboat at WrestleMania III for the Intercontinental Championship, and Randy Savage did win his first Intercontinental Championship at a primetime wrestling event in the Boston Garden in February of 1986, defeating Tito Santana. Number three. Number three, you might not agree, but it goes to The Miz. This one was a little shocking when I tallied up all your guys' votes, kind of. Now, Miz is a seven-time Intercontinental Champion. He did just lose that title to Roman Reigns, but you can't, you can't think The Miz and not think the Intercontinental Championship at the same time. So that's why I agree with putting him so high on this list, because like I said, you can't think Miz and not think IC title at the exact same time. The Miz, yes, he went on to hold the WWF Championship at one point too, but his his real claim to fame is being a seven-time Intercontinental Champion and making that championship relevant again. 
The Miz did win his first Intercontinental Championship on the special Raw 1000 in July of 2010, defeating Christian. Number one. Number one goes to one of the best of all time, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is a nine-time Intercontinental Champion, winning that title more than anybody else in the history of the championship. Chris Jericho, yes, he's a multi-time world champion. He's held every other title in the business, but the Intercontinental Championship, he has even said, is something that means a lot to him, not just because he's held it more than anybody else, because of how prestigious that championship is. Chris Jericho did win his first Intercontinental Championship at Armageddon 1999, where he did defeat China for the championship. So that's going to do it for this episode of the PWU Countdown. The best Intercontinental Champions of all time voted on by you, the PW Unlimited fans. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below on how the rankings did pan out for the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time. Let us know if you think somebody should have ranked higher, somebody should have ranked lower, or somebody that's on the list shouldn't have been on the list, or somebody that didn't make the list should have made the list. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below. Like and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe here on YouTube and follow pwunlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.